And we continue monitoring some of these road closures. And as Zach mentioned, some parts of Central Texas are seeing flooding. Fox 7 Austin's Bridget Spencer is live in Northwest Austin with a look at the conditions there. Good morning, Bridget. What are you seeing? Yeah, good morning, Leslie. Well, the rain might be done, but the flooding, well, that's still going on. If you normally take Old Spicewood Springs Road into work, you're going to have to find another way. Take a look. This is what it's looking like right now. You can see lots of water is flowing over the road here. If you take a look over there at that fire hydrant, you can see and gauge just how high the water is at this point. Now, there is a barricade blocking the entrance to Old Spice Springs, Spicewood Springs Road. If you drive around town, you might see a lot of those. Do not cross Cross those, you can face some criminal charges if you try to cross those barriers. So the big message at this point this morning on your commute, turn around, don't drown. It is a lot, uh, a lot of times it's, uh, it's easy to underestimate the power of this water. So it can float your car downstream if you try to go over this. So again, it's best to take a look at some alternatives on that drive into work this morning. And of course, it is still important to be weather aware. Of course, as Zach was saying, the rain event might be over but there's still a lot of remnants and low water crossings around town. We're going to keep you updated on those, as well as be sure to check atxfloods.com and check those low water crossings as well. Sending it back over to you. All right, Bridget Spencer reporting for us in Northwest Austin. Thank you, Bridget.